Good morning and welcome to our Sunday morning service. We're so glad to have everyone here with us. At this point, we will continue to follow the Governor's State of Public Health Disaster Emergency Declaration, which prevents us from being able to gather in person for worship. As we learn more this week about these restrictions, we will keep you updated. We will continue to provide worship services online at 10.30 a.m. on Sundays. We will also continue to mail out the Sunday bulletins. If you are not receiving a bulletin and would like to, please call or email the St. Peter Church office or Pastor Jane. Every Wednesday at 5 p.m., we are asking all St. Peter and St. Paul members and anyone else who would like to participate to come together for a prayer of unity for all those experiencing the effects of the coronavirus. More than ever, we need to be praying for our world, our nation, our communities, and each other. A reminder will be posted on our Facebook page. We have volunteers from the church who will pick up groceries, etc., for anyone who is unable to leave their homes at this time. Please call either the church or Pastor Jane's cell phone. The West Fork Food Pantry is still operating at Zion St. John in Sheffield, but has been changed to curbside pickup due to the virus. They are in need of donations, especially cereal, peanut butter, and personal hygiene items. Drive up, belly up, lift up our Lord Jesus Christ and give thanks. We are planning a free drive through lunch for our church members and our community on Sunday, May 24th. Look for more information in our main newsletter which is coming to you this week. Thanks again to everyone who is helping put together these worship services, and especially to those of you that are watching. Have a blessed day. Thank you, Lana. Well, good morning and welcome to worship on this third Sunday of Easter. We're glad you are with us.
Today's reading is the conclusion of Peter's sermon preached following the giving of the Holy Spirit to the apostles on the day of Pentecost. The center of his preaching is the bold declaration that God has made the crucified Jesus Christ both Lord and Christ. The first reading is from Acts chapter 2, verses 14a and 36 through 41. Peter, standing with the eleven, raised his voice and addressed the crowd. Therefore, let the entire house of Israel know with certainty that God has made him both Lord and Messiah, this Jesus whom he crucified. Now when they heard this, they were cut to the heart and said to Peter and to the other apostles, Brothers, what should we do? Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, so that your sins may be forgiven, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is for you, for your children, and for all who are far away, everyone whom the Lord our God calls to him. And he testified with many of the arguments and exhorted them, saying, Save yourselves from this corrupt generation. So those who welcomed his message were baptized, and that day about 3,000 persons were added. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. Please read responsibly, if you would like, Psalm 116, verses 1 through 4, and 18 through 19. I love the Lord who has heard my voice and listened to my supplication. The word of the Lord has given ear to me whenever I call. The cords of death entangled me. The anguish of the grave came upon me. I came to grief and sorrow. Then I I will fulfill my vows to the Lord in the presence of all God's people. In the courts of the Lord's house, in the midst of you, O Jerusalem. Hallelujah. Oh, 
and then enter into his glory. Then, beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he interpreted to them the things about himself and all the scriptures. As they came near the village to which they were going, he walked ahead as if he were going on. But they urged him strongly, saying, Stay with us, because it is almost evening, and the day is now nearly over. So he went in to stay with them. When he was at the table with them, he took the bread, blessed it, and broke it, and gave it to them. Then their eyes were opened, and they recognized him, and he vanished from their sight. They said to each other, Were not our hearts burning with them in us while he was talking to us on the road and while he was opening his scripture to us? That same hour they got up and returned to Jerusalem, and they found the eleven and their companions gathered together. They were saying, The Lord has risen indeed, and he has appeared to Simon. Then they told what had happened on the road and how he had been known made known to them in the breaking of the bread. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Grace to you, O Christ. Well, I want to give the children a, a message, so I hope you're listening here. Um, just hold on a minute, though, okay? i, I got to talk to someone here. So, yeah, it's great to see you. Uh, how are you doing? Yeah, I know. You know, we're, we're going through some really hard times right now with all this pandemic and all this stuff. I have to stay at home, no school or anything. Yeah, it's, wow, it's just been really weird. Really weird, you know, and I don't know. I don't know if you can help us out at all with that, but, um, you know, think about it. So, anyway, it's, it's great to see you. Um, you take care. You take care. Bless you. Okay, yeah. These people are looking at me kind of funny here. Like, maybe Pastor Jane has just gone bonkers. Is she talking? Does she have an imaginary friend, maybe? Does it look that way? Well, what if I told you I was talking to Jesus? Would you believe me? Would you believe that Jesus was standing right here talking to me? Well, you know what? I believe he was. And don't worry, I didn't see him. <laughs> but I do believe that Jesus walks with me everywhere I go. And you know what? He walks with you too. You've got a friend and God with you all the time. And sometimes I can even feel in my heart, the warmth in my heart, that Jesus 
Now, the writer says his confusion, of course, stemmed from his mindset that his cousin Jim just wasn't supposed to be there right then and there. So far, since Easter, just a couple weeks ago, we have read three different stories about Jesus showing up to his followers after the resurrection, and they don't recognize him. Logistically, Jesus simply shouldn't be there. They knew that death on the cross had taken Jesus from them. He wasn't supposed to be there. And in all three of these accounts, they simply did not realize that it was Jesus standing there. Not until he did or said something that became an aha moment for them. Something that opened their eyes and made them realize that it really was Jesus standing there, right there with them. An aha moment that set their hearts on fire. And it was different for each one of them. For Mary Magdalene, as we read on Easter morning, it was Jesus' voice. When she first looked at him, she thought he was the gardener. He wasn't supposed to be there. Jesus wasn't supposed to be there. It, was, it wasn't until Jesus just simply stopped and looked directly at her and said, Mary, when she heard the voice of Jesus, when she heard him calling her own name, that's when she knew Jesus was alive. He had risen from the grave. Now, for Thomas, the one we call the doubter, as we read last week, when he, uh, he didn't believe at all, the disciples had told him that a week before they had seen Jesus. He didn't believe that. He didn't believe them. other people telling him that. And even when he saw Jesus in the upper room, he still had a hard time recognizing or believing that that was Jesus. He just wasn't supposed to be there right then. It wasn't until Jesus said, touch the holes in my hand and touch the, the pierce, the wound in my side. That's when Thomas became a believer. He recognized Jesus. Jesus was alive. And this week, as we walk on the road to Emmaus with two of Jesus' followers, it was the breaking of bread that did it, that made them recognize Jesus. Not his voice, not his face, not even when Jesus read scripture to them and gave them a, a Bible lesson all about the Old Testament and Moses and all the different prophets that were talking about Jesus. They simply didn't believe because Jesus was not supposed to be there right then and there. It wasn't until Jesus took that bread and blessed it and broke it and gave it to them that they realized the risen Christ is right there with them. Encountering Jesus, Jesus walking right beside us, I have no doubt that he's been there with you before, and I have no doubt that he's walked with me. And we probably, like Jesus' followers, have experienced Jesus in our own Way because that's how Jesus works. Did you know it was Jesus? Do we recognize God when He's walking beside us? Or do we simply say, No, you're not supposed to be here right now, so you're not here? There are so many ways we can feel Jesus in our hearts and know that Jesus is right there with us. It could be some words from a sermon that you heard, or a song that you sing. It could be a picture that you're looking at. It could be a walk through the, the park in a beautiful sunny street. 
encouraging word, just when you needed it the most. Jesus can come to you through the act of a complete stranger or someone that you see or is with you every day. Jesus comes through us through, through God's beautiful creation. And like with the disciples we read about today, it can just be that fleeting moment that we recognize Jesus, a moment that our hearts beat an extra beat, and we just know that only God could have provided what just happened. And for just a moment, our hearts are on fire. Stop saying that Jesus can't be here right now, because he is. Trust that Jesus is walking with you through everything. Trust that he will show up in the most unexpected ways and the most unexpected times in your life, even when life seems impossible. God will show up in the midst of it. God's word is his promise and it is real. I will never leave you nor forsake you. I am with you always end of time. Nothing can keep us from God loving us and being there for us and providing for us. Jesus' death and resurrection